Nightfall? Already? Suppose I'd better wrap up. Good work with your training today, Ingrid. Here's something to wipe up the sweat. Whoa, Mercedes. Hi. Hello. How long have you been... Um... Thank you. You're very welcome. I've been here since you started. Not long. Huh. Well, my apologies for not having noticed you. I get so caught up in training, you know. But why are you here? I can't imagine it was too terribly interesting watching me. I disagree. I just couldn't help but admire your training technique. I have to say, you are very impressive. I'm nowhere near as graceful as you. Graceful? I wouldn't say that, but thank you. If I'm to be honest, I'm the one who admires you. Goodness, me? How so? You're always so put together. You hold yourself with such poise and have such a keen eye for fashion. I mean, even the handkerchief you handed me smells like... Lavender, is it? It's just lovely. That perfume is a favorite of mine. I'm so glad you like it. Even the fact that you thought to put perfume on your handkerchief is delightfully foreign to me. I'd never have thought of that. I'll gladly share some with you. You're welcome to come visit my room whenever you'd like. We can have tea and chat. How does that sound? Uh, that sounds really nice. Yes. <laughs> Sipping tea and having a chat. It's unlike me, but it sounds lovely. From now on, we'll meet up whenever we have time. We can go right now if you're free. Oh, no need to trouble yourself and rearrange things for me. It's no trouble at all. You'll never know if you're the type who enjoys chatting over tea if you never try. <laughs> All right then. Apologies for my late arrival, Mercedes. My duties ran long, as per usual. There's no need to apologize at all. Please, have a seat. We've met for tea so many times, but you never seem to get used to it, do you, Ingrid? Not entirely, no. I'm not accustomed to being treated so... delicately. Anyway, what will we talk about today? I actually wanted to gripe about something that's been bothering me. You? Gripe? Now that's unusual. I'm happy to listen, of course. It's the least I can do after all the kindness you've shown me. Thank you. The one thing I really wanted to talk about is marriage. Oh? Yes. I received a letter from my adoptive father about marriage discussions with a noble family. And will you accept? That's the problem. No matter what I decide, I'll probably be married off anyway. What I really want to do is help those in need. But I think it would be more difficult to do so if I married a nobleman. Understandably so. Sounds to me like you need a strategy to silence your father. Sorry? To... silence him? Don't you agree? It seems the best course of action would be to consider severing all ties with the family and running away. <laughs> we don't need to go that far. I'm sorry, I really just needed to let that out. I don't need you to worry about solving my problems. Oh, okay. It's... just a bit personal for me, actually. My own father has brought countless marriage proposals to my attention. He always was obsessed with me carrying on the family bloodline. At a very young age, my hand had already been promised to someone in marriage. But Glenn died young. That must have been difficult for you. Would you have married him if he had survived? Hmm. That's a good question. It's hard to imagine now. Although I did admire him quite a lot, he held true to the ideals of knighthood, proudly serving the king. Even after all these years, I aspire to be the type of knight that he embodied. But that's just it. I'm not a tool for furthering my family's fortunes. I'm a knight at heart, regardless of what my father desires. I see. A very noble cause indeed. <laughs> How strange that we should be worrying about the same thing. Even though we are such different people. It's true. Enjoying a nice chat over tea with you like this makes me realize maybe the paths we walk aren't so different after all. Don't you think? I do. These tea parties of ours. 
They really are something special. That they are. Ingrid, I would love to get to know you better if that's okay. I want to know about your childhood, your favorite books, the sweets you like, anything at all. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm happy to speak with you anytime. And I want to know you better too, Mercedes. 